Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and welcome to Humble Beginnings on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. This is episode 9. I would like to step out of character for just a moment and thank everyone for their fine comments and condolences the past month. I had two computers crash, my mother passed away, uh, my editing computer had a trackpad issue, and my home-built PC, the motherboard bricked, and my CPU cracked. I don't know which happened first, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it became unusable. Uh, luckily, both pieces were under warranty. That was over a month ago. I'm still waiting for correct repairs to be delivered. My editing computer uh, came back from New York. I would like to thank... There it is. I'd like to thank the Rossman Group for their repair. Seems to be working just fine now. And they cleaned everything out, so the fans are running well. And finally, I'd like to thank everyone who watches and especially those people who have subscribed. We have hit 100 subscribers last week, and that's amazing. The entire first year, I sat at between 12 and 30 subscribers, and it started to take off, and I really appreciate that. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. It would help the channel grow. Good morning, everyone. I'm just standing here by the railing, by the fence, finishing my coffee, trying to plan out my day, noticing the temperature is still too cold to plant. Last night, when I left you, I was cleaning up the timber back in that clearing by the, the soon-to-be satellite lumber mill. And I noticed that I had two more trees that were really tall, and I'm going to call them super trees. And I don't know if you can tell. It's hard to tell a super tree from a regular tree when you're really close. You have to be this far away. I don't really see that one right there, the third one. Probably that one, that one and maybe those five i don't know six you'll be able to tell when we see them anyway there was two more super trees that i decided to cut down and clean up so they're all in the log drop off to get paid today nobody was there last night speaking of last night the i might as well do my chores this morning while we're talking the shop manager came by while I was dropping off one of my log loads and said, why are you using your green grain track trailer? Why aren't you using your flatbed? And I said, I don't own a flatbed. I think I missed that time. I said, I don't own a flatbed. He says, you bought the animal trailer, right? I said, yeah. He said, bring the animal trailer in tomorrow morning and I'll show you. Boy, I'm just not having a good time with this, am I? I think I'm too far away. Well, no, maybe not. That might be close enough. There we go. So, we need to take our animal trailer into town. Let's check the eggs. Yeah, they're good. I'm not even going to check the eggs. It doesn't matter. We're not ready to sell eggs yet anyway. Oh, and I did give the cattle a bale last night. Oh, 
pulling this water trailer with this tractor is a learning curve. Wheels are in a different spot. Speaking of wheels are in a different spot, this tractor does not have as much lifting power as the old Massey does. Which is weird. Alright, let's drop that off. I think, talking about trees, I'm remembering that I think I wanted to get rid of these two trees right here. So I better back up so I don't drop a tree on my tractor. Leave the lights on so we can see. Yeah, looks like there'd be a straight row of trees if we went from here. And these two trees kind of stick out. So we're going to get rid of these two trees. Early morning break the silence here with the chainsaw. And it's not worth much, but I think we'll enjoy having a nice, clean, straight line. In the weeds there, I don't know if I got the end of it cleaned off or not. miss a limb? No, nope, I think I got it. Alright, and they're going to be too heavy. This one might not be too heavy for me. Yeah, it is. Alright. So I wanted to do those two trees. And I think and I think I'm going to add this tree to my list because he's awfully close to the field edge. We'll leave him for now though. I think there was three trees I was thinking about getting rid of over here. These three trees right here. That one. This itty bitty one. And this one over here. We've got five trees to pick up now, and five stumps. Probably going to want to get rid of that little tree, too. I'm going to end up taking down all the trees. All right, let's see. Okay, let's go get hooked up to the animal trailer. We 
little drive up to the shop. And we'll see what he's talking about. looking at the tree line trying to decide what's super trees and what isn't. I think we've got three there. We probably have a few over there but hard to tell. So this is the group of trees that we cleared last night. There are no super trees in here anymore. I looked over there. I don't believe any of those are super trees. Here's the pile we made last night. And some of them are longer than other ones, than what I used to do. I started just picking up logs and running them over here instead of putting them on the trailer because it was so close. Now, you can tell all of those trees are the same height there are super trees in that group over there. You can see how much taller they are. Anyway, that's enough on super trees. Let's see if the shop mechanic is in. And see what he is talking about. They gotta fix that road, that's pretty bumpy. park this over here kind of out of the way that ought to be good and we'll turn off the lights there we go Ooh, I should have cleaned it up before I drove it into let people look at it. Okay, wow, they got the doors open already. They're enjoying the crisp morning air. Well, let me talk to the shop guy if he's here. And I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, as you can see, we just spent $2,375 for this itty-bitty little pallet of steel. Looks like it's one by two tubing. Anyway, what's this on the pallet? Oh, looks over here. Upside down words. Grab from this side. Load from this side. All right. Um, anyway, he came out and showed me that you can put the legs out or the stands and it comes off of the flatbed trailer so there's our flatbed trailer look at there we own a flatbed trailer We 
need to get these straps off of here. There. Let's go get the fork truck. think it's quite oh yeah maybe it is high enough barely and it's not gonna like me this morning oh come on trying to give it a little persuasion there there we go So he says that these bars go into those tubes right there and it'll make it into a log trailer. Well, I'll be darned. Wow. We can have really long logs now. We don't have to cut them up as much. We can haul more. Oh boy. That might have been a good $2,000 to spend. Let's get back home and give it a shot. This is going to make cutting down trees fun. He mentioned that he thinks they're going to open the satellite lumber mill this morning, so that'll be good. So, I think I just noticed that we forgot we cut down a tree over here. There it is. That's a scrawny little guy. And we can set it right in there. Looky there. It almost fits all the way in there. And I think I do remember them saying that the lumber mill, they don't like... They don't like these ends on here. So we'll cut that little end off. Well, that's nice. Probably should throw a strap on it. There we go. Alright, let's go get the other trees. There we go.
we do need to be able to pull that trailer with I'm gonna have to do something about those bushes. They are just so tall and in the way. We're gonna have to pull that trailer, whoops, with the old Massey so that we can see what I'm talking about? This tractor just does not have the lifting power of the old Massey. Huh. So this is going to be our yard tractor, not our workhorse. I'm a little disappointed with that. I'm very disappointed with that. Okay, well, hopefully we can hook that trailer up behind this lift. Uh, here's a good test of what equipment can do. That's too close. There we go. It does line up. So see? Must just be something about all this iron up here is heavier weight than on the new one, Little Red. Because this tractor can carry all that weight back there. Granted, it's on its balance point, but it can still carry it. Alright, let's get over here, get rid of these stumps. before we move the trees there's one Well, that's a fine. How do you do? All right, let's see if we can attach to this trailer without too much fanfare. Looks pretty level. All right, let's back it up. Kind of like we did with our other trailer. go from there to here. It's not as critical on the cut length now. Because the trailer can have limbs hanging out front or back. Uh, that other tree is going to be in the way.
There we go. Let's get this out of the way. I should probably put them together so I can cut them at the same time. Oh my, that's a long one. Straighten up. Fly right. Come on. All right. Well, whatever it is, it is. Oh, no. I have to be careful about that. All right, let's see if we can push the trailer back over. That should do. I like this trailer. I really like this trailer. And now the next thing I'm going to try. After we pick that up. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm probably too close to the rest of the trees. I'm going to hit. Yes, I am. All right, let's go this way. Oh, without rolling the tractor, because that's a lot of weight up there. Probably shouldn't have it up in the air like that while I'm driving around. thinking we could just set it on here and then cut it and let's cut it a little shorter Left that one a little long as well. Cut it about here. We should be able to pick that one up. Yep. Alright, and let's see. Let's set it in right there. Cut this end off so they don't get mad at us. There we go. And let's see if we can Yeah, give them a little push, get them on the trailer better. There we go. Let's 
give this log a tap. Really? Go all the way around. Square up. There we go. That's what I wanted. And I guess, since I'm going this way... Let's cut two trees. Let's lower this down. Pick them up. Then we'll raise it up. Plenty of room. Did I say I like this trailer? I really like this trailer. Um, instead of moving the logs, I think I'm going to move the trailer. Tried to play the swing. Did you see that? All right, let's get around here. I like not having to cut the logs so perfect to length. They paid us for our wood. $20,000. Let's see, can I slide this through? Oh. Here. That's a short little piece, isn't it? I shouldn't have put it in there. So $20,000 for that last load of wood. Alright, let's look at this one. We need to trim off 
Right there. There we go. And now we can redo the strap. All right, let's go get the other logs. And we will restrap them so they don't shift on us. We have eight more trees to cut down. Let's see if we can find eight more big trees. I think we'll be able to fit eight more trees on this one trailer, no problem. So let's come in here to this pile. I believe that is a super tree dead ahead. And now I can't tell which one it is. gonna say it's this one. Is it that one? Hard to tell. One. Two. Three.
And we're going to call it good with just four trees. Whoa, back up. Wow, it's quite the bounce. My goodness. All right, I'm going to clean up these trees and get them loaded. And I will see you at the lumber mill. Well, that took way longer than I thought it would for as few a trees as we cut down. Uh, luckily, it was only four. So we have four left. I need to jot that down so I remember. And we better throw a couple straps on here. Let's put one there and one there. That ought to hold the load. We can lower that down. Actually, that needs to be up, but just shorter. All right. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Oh my goodness, I didn't even get them all. All I did was the big fat ends. I forgot about the tops. Well, I'm going to have to come back for those three tops. At some point. There's my measuring stick. I put that out here. I thought there was a road over here. Evidently not. Well, let's go get these turned in. See how much this trailer load is worth. Well, it looks like they've got it cleaned up and open for business. Yep, they took away the old bunker, got rid of the dumpsters, well, one container left, but that's not bad. All right, I think I park it right there, and I'll go in here and see the man about selling. $19,000, almost $20,000 for that load. That is very nice. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Well, day eight, mid spring. Huh, still too cold to plant. Well, I'm going to clean up those three tops. Maybe I'll hunt around for four more. Might as well do something while I can't plant. I guess we could plant some more trees. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.